Welcome back fam, we're gonna make a filter inspired by True Detective, which is a kind of double exposure camera effect using the gallery texture and no stretched textures. You're gonna see what I mean in a second. So open a new project and create a rectangle, full size it and create a material. Rename the material gradient matte because it's gonna be a gradient texture and also rename the rectangle to keep tracks of what we're doing. Click on the material and click on texture. In a patch editor, add a gradient and a gradient step patch. Connect the output of the gradient step into the diffused texture. If you connect the gradient, it's gonna look like this. But we need solid colors, so let's proceed with the output. Change the first color to a light gray color, or pick the one you like. And you can change the gradient mode. We're going to use vertical. We're done with the gradient, so let's duplicate the rectangle and give it a different name which is going to be something like user gallery texture. Create a new material for it. Turn it flat. Click on texture. Also rename this material. Now let's import the gallery texture. So to make it work, we're gonna remove Facebook from the capabilities and click done. Now go back on add assets and add it again. When you have it in assets, drag and drop it in patch editor and connect it to the material. If we now try to add a media, you're going to see that if we resize this window, Let's make it adjustable. The texture stretches up depending on the size and no, we don't want it. We want the texture to adjust accordingly to whatever the user screen size is. So import this patch I'm gonna give you for free. I'm gonna find the link in the description. With that, in the patch editor, click on device and uh, click right and create a patch because we're gonna need screen size information. Now, I turn this in iPhone 8 view for no reason, so you can keep it resizable and uh, connect the second slot in the device patch in the first slot of the fixed aspect ratio patch. Now we need the texture transform, so add one and add the gallery texture in the texture input and attach the fixed aspect ratio into the transform. Then take the output and connect it into the diffuse texture. As you can see now, the texture is adapting according to different screen devices, which is what we want. It's way better and way cooler, more professional. With this done, let's go in the Spark AR library and let's import and adjust color because I want the whole effect to look desaturated. Probably just black and white for me, but you can do whatever you want. So import the adjust color and uh, connect the gallery texture into texture of the adjust color and then the output inside the texture transform. Go on a saturation and turn it minus one. So now it's gonna be black and white completely. With that done, we can now go click on camera and extract the texture, both camera texture and person segmentation. So when you go back on the user gallery material, you can insert the person segmentation as the alpha. So as you can see now, we're gonna see the user segmentation with the image behind it. 
Now we want to duplicate the user gallery material and uh, create a different material. Call it user camera because we're gonna use a little bit of the original camera texture to mix it up with the gallery texture rectangle. So in the new user material, click on texture and uh, duplicate the edges color shader. Just click on it, command C, command V, or control C, control V, and you're gonna have it duplicated. Drag and drop the camera texture, we just now extracted and connect it just like this. So also the user, it's gonna be black and white. I've duplicated those materials for no reason, probably it's a bug. Click on the user camera material, the one with the yellow arrow, and the under the render options, you go on opacity and you turn it down just like way or whatever you like. And I have this exact effect. So I hope you like this tutorial. Give it a like if it helped you, and subscribe to the channel to see more. See you on the next one.